I am Patricio de la Fuente. I grew up in Monterrey, Mexico, about two hours away from the U.S. Since I was growing up, I always aspired to go and study in the U.S. Where it was hard to leave home, I spent my junior and senior years in a boarding school called New Hampton School. There, I was made aware of Northeastern University. I visited it and absolutely fell in love with it. This is one of the reasons why getting into Northeastern was one of the happiest moments in my life. I was very excited to have been selected for the NUM program as I have always had a love to travel. I had never been to Australia before, so I was very excited to be in Melbourne for the next four months. When I arrived to Melbourne, I was a little bit nervous, mostly due to the fact that I was not in the group flight and had not gone to orientation because I'm an international student. However, as soon as I arrived to Swinburne, I was met warmly by our ISAs, Rene, Dominique, and Corey, as well as the side lead, Monica. I quickly got acquainted with most in the program, and I could not have asked for better roommates and friends. Shane, Ryan, Joe, Mario, Phil, Jaime, amongst others, all of whom have ended up being some of my best friends, not only in the program, but in my life. In terms of academics, I found myself enjoying my classes, such as biology and chemistry, as well as learning about Australian history, where I learned a lot about the culture, customs, and traditions. Amongst them, especially here in Melbourne, people live and breathe footy. So when we went to Richmond to celebrate the local team winning the grand finale, it was a great local experience, which I thoroughly enjoyed. After class, I usually explore the city of Melbourne. Now I understand why Melbourne has been ranked the most livable city in the world consecutively for so many years. The Royal Botanical Garden is on top of my list as one of the best I have ever seen, with the highlight being the Shrine of Remembrance. Walking along the Yarra River is a unique experience filled with a plethora of restaurants and entertainment, which I greatly enjoyed. I have made many memories, whether they be in Northeastern endorsed events like going to Phillip Island, seeing the penguins there, or going to the Great Ocean Road and seeing the Twelve Apostles. Also, a childhood dream of mine was fulfilled since I got to see koalas and kangaroos for the first time. However, I also did traveling with my group of friends. We took a weekend and explored Sydney where we got to see the famous Opera House, watch the All Blacks to feed the Wallabies, I meet people from Northeastern and UN Sydney. During our break, however, my friends and I decided to drive around the South Island of New Zealand. I saw some of the most breathtaking views and did amazing things like jumping off an airplane. However, the most rewarding experience that I had while being in Melbourne was service learning. I had the privilege to be a volunteer at the Walk for Parkinson's, which is designed to raise awareness and funds for Parkinson's disease. While I participated, I met some amazing people in charge of making sure everything ran smoothly and made sure that I knew what my role was for the day. I also had the opportunity to volunteer in a Red Cross shop where all proceeds went directly to the Red Cross. All the staff there were members of the local community and I was shocked as to how open and warm they were. They made sure I felt comfortable by asking me questions about my culture and where I was from. This made me realize differences between Mexican, American and Australian culture. Their cultural awareness and cross-cultural communication is definitely something that I will apply in my daily life and the future. What was most meaningful, however, is doing work for a good cause. I can honestly say that these past four months have been some of the best in my life and while I will miss many things from Australia, I look forward to going to Boston in January to continue my journey. <laughs>